All right, hi everyone, it's Steelbook Steve. Gonna do a Steelbook review on my latest Steelbook acquisition. This is a box set coming to us from Film Arena. And this is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, this is uh, Film Arena's number 106. And uh, it's the box set number 15 right here that you're seeing. So there's the front, there's the back. Very cool. Um, the park is gone. You're seeing some embossing on the backside with the T-Rex. The ladder that you're seeing here, and you're seeing the FAC number 108, or sorry, 106 for both. There's two editions that come in this box set, um, so kind of cool, kind of excited. Just came in. I got lucky enough to get one of these, um, and there's the spines to both of them, and as usual, you've got some embossing and some great artwork there, so maybe I'll end up keeping one and um, seeing what I can do with the other editions. So here we go. We're going to open it up very carefully on the side. So yeah, Film Arena for whatever reason um, ended up releasing these in a box set or these are the only ones I can get my hands on um, even though Fallen Kingdom has come up in different um, formats, different steelbook releases, um, worldwide releases, but the best version for me is Film Arena. I already have all the other Jurassic Parks and Jurassic Worlds in the Film Arena. So it's kind of cool to get this one here. This is number 37 of 750. So only 750 of these were produced. And I got my hands on two of them. So we got two editions here. We've got the 4K version, Ultra HD. And there's that new dinosaur that was synthesized in the lab. There's the spine, Fallen Kingdom. And then here is the back of it right here. So again, uh, number 37 of 750. There you're seeing blue, right? Very cool. And uh, the back, there's no embossing, no debossing there. You got your card there, you've got some embossing there. Textured dino skin. <laughs> and there's the front there. The front is a really cool image. That's a very, very dynamic image. And look at the level of detail, the clarity of that picture. Again, Film Arena, in my opinion, is probably the best steelbook manufacturer. Um, here's the regular edition of it. Uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This is the lenticular cover. So let me see if I can get a nice... Shot of the lenticular cover of all the dinosaurs coming coming right at us, running away. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look, very, at the very bottom, you're seeing everybody kind of freaked out right there, right? So very cool. And the volcanoes exploding in the back. You've got the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom up there. You've got your sticker right here, 106. So very, very cool uh, lenticular cover, I think, for this one here. Spine, and again, there's no, there's no embossing here, no debossing. But the spine does have the characteristic writing, right? Fallen Kingdom. In the back, you're seeing, again, our two main protagonists in our card here, 37 of 750. All right. So very cool. Again, crisp images. They're pretty clear. You're seeing a lot of chaos go on. So let's open this one up. And again, at the bottom, you're seeing the, the Film Arena sticker, 37 of 750. Let's open this one up here and see what we got. So like I said, if you want to check out the other uh, Jurassic Park and Jurassic World reviews, I do have those. Um, I have all the Film Arena versions. Uh, and they are great looking steelbooks. And I'm, I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park, more so than Jurassic World, uh, but still fun to see dinosaurs. <laughs> so here we go. Let's open it up. And like I said, if you're a collector, you're looking for the coolest releases, um, Film Arena does not disappoint. So here's, here's the steelbook that I think is usually uh, we've been seeing. This is the worldwide release. You've got the T-Rex, right, uh, kind of towering over everybody down here, which I think is the same image that they used over here, right, on the slip. I think they just superimposed the, the image of the dinosaurs. Here's the back, basically, you know, skeleton and a broken, I don't remember the name of that, you know, all-terrain vehicle, but it's all abandoned, destroyed, the island is gone. So we've got high gloss, high gloss. Very nice looking image. It's all high gloss. No embossing, no debossing, no wording anywhere. Just pure chaos and action. So here's the interior. We've got our two discs. We have 3D. We've got the DVD. Blu-ray 3D, the DVD. And we've got the Blu-ray itself. So this is a three disc edition here. So that's kind of cool. You get the DVD, which, you know, is there. The 3D. 
I'm still a fan of 3D. I like to, to watch 3D. And the Blu-ray. So here's the interior. It's a, it's, it's a cool concept, but I don't know about the image itself. It's a little bit lost. Basically, it's the, the part of the film where uh, Owen's looking at the T-Rex uh, when he's trying to draw blood, um, which is a cool image, but its execution, not so clear. I would have chosen something more panoramic. There's a lot of cool dynamic scenes in the film, and a close-up of, of this, you kind of lose the scale of it. So not a big fan of the interior of the steel, uh, but the exterior is looking great. And of course, we've got some cards. Let's check them out. So great, great coloration on the cards. Very supple paper, good quality here. That's the back of all of them. And then here's the front of them. So great colors, highly saturated. The blacks are so, so dark and crisp. There's another one there. Let's take a look at this one here. So again, some of the images, a little bit static. Where are the dinosaurs? <laughs> so some of the characters here that we're seeing, I don't know if they're choice moments. They're all right, I guess you could say. That's the second image of the little girl. Okay, so images, they're all right. I'm not, not uh, super impressed by what they chose. A lot of repeat images from the book. That's what I'm not liking. Uh, I think that's a recent trend in some of the film arena books, uh, steel books, is that they are releasing the same images that we see in the postcards in the books. And I don't like that. I'd rather see, as, as you're seeing here, they're all the same. Not all the same, but some of the same. I'd rather see... Uh, different images, right? That are that are not duplicate images, all right. But again, good uh, looking images. Can't complain about the paper quality or image quality, and most of the Im images are pretty good. So there's that interior still book which I didn't really like that much. I think they could have chose something a little bit better. The book's looking cool. Very cool images of all the dinosaurs. So again, um, that's a cool. That would be a cool one for the interior, the steelbook, right? Just that T-Rex towering over everything, or this one right here with the, with the blue, maybe. Ah, uh, Jeff Goldblum, I love him. I wish he had a bigger part in the film. Yeah, that's a nice one too. So overall, you know, it's a good-looking steelbook, great collectibles, and if you're a fan of the film, you definitely want to pick the film arena up. I think that's probably the best version that's out there right now. And again, uh, that's Steelbook Steve. Thanks so much.